What up, two players? The homie C Rod, and today we got the new Crimson Saiyans starter deck. So we're gonna open this up. It's Super Saiyan 4, so we already know that it's good and it's exclusive cards in it. We get five exclusive cards here, so that's pretty tight. And in the back, it tells you the name of all the cards that come in it, but obviously, we want to see what's actually inside this thing. So uh, let's open it up. I'm not gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be kind of rough to this box, so there you go. There you go. That's how you open up a box, guys. Show it no love, but we're gonna caress these cards. We're gonna show some love to these cards. The box is whatever, but damn, look at that. Super Saiyan 4, Son Goku, looking tight. Man, I don't know if the camera's giving it justice. It looks a little better in person, but um, let's open this thing up. So, uh, this comes with the new swap mechanic, guys. If you guys don't know what the swap mechanic is, it's pretty much another way of uh, playing battle cards without you actually having to uh, play the battle card onto the field. You just switch cards with another card. And that's why it's called swap, right? It makes sense. It makes sense. So you just swap the cards. But this is the leader. Uh, Long Odds SS4 Son Goku. And uh, what this card does is that when this card attacks, you draw one card. Basic effect. But this is the awakened side. There's also an uh, unawakened side. And that's a big oink right there. A golden one. And the uh, same ability, uh, when this card attacks the leader card, you draw one card. So that's what he does. And uh, awaken at four lives on tap two of your energies, right? Um, yeah, two of your energies, and let's see what he does. He gains critical, so that's tight. He gains the effect critical when your life is less than or equal to your opponent's. He gains 5k and critical, so he's a 20k critical when you meet the requirements. And, damn, look at the card. It looks sick. Alright, so that's the leader, and then we got a Super Saiyan 4 right here. Super tight, man. Damn, these cards do look pretty sick. I'm not going to lie about that one. And uh, Reborn Might, SS4 Son Goku. He is a 5 drop, but he has swap 8. If you want to swap for an 8 cost with the swap and his Goku's lineage, you could do that for just 4 energies. And that's how this game works. So you activate 4 energies and you swap for another Goku's lineage that happens to have 8 cost. And then you just switch the cards. So then we got Power Charge Bardock. This card is good, guys. This is already a good deal because uh, what this guy does is when he attacks you get to choose to either draw or give him double strike so this guy will bring the pressure on to your opponent and how many do, of these do we get we get two of them so that's how they're gonna get you guys they want you to buy another one so you can get some more of these and another one so you get the play set of these so yeah you're gonna have to buy two boxes of the starter deck if you want to get to uh, the play set of this one but it's still not bad. Two is not too bad. And then we got SSB Son Goku, Super Saiyan Blue. Uh, he has another swap eight, so I guess you're going to be able to swap eight for it. And he has barrier double strike, so he's going to be very hard to like get rid of. And you could just come, he could come into play if you just do the swap effect, swap five. So uh, that's pretty darn good. And uh, when you play this card, if your leader is Goku's Lineage, which if you're using the starter deck right, it, that's what it is. It's Super Saiyan 4, Goku's Lineage card. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. So this thing kills when it comes into play as well as having barrier and double strike. Man, this guy's pretty darn strong. We're running... Oh, they give you a whole playset. That's pretty sick. And then here's the other card. Same one as the other one is just not hollow. So here's the hollow, here's the non-hollow. So you get two of these, pretty sick, um, activate main ability, uh, choose one card from your life and add it to your hand, so good for self awakening I guess if your opponent's stalling you out, switch this card to active mode, and if you have two or less life, this card gains triple strike, so he's a triple strike final punch to the face, pretty sick, we get two of those, one hollow, one non hollow. This one's very good for the swap mechanic. He's looking like the backbone of the swap engine because he's one of the battle cards that when you play him, you choose one of your opponent's battle cards 
in rest mode and KO it. So he comes into play with the swap. You kill something and then you can swap for two energies for a swap four. So you 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 use the swap effect, use two energies, and you can play another Goku's lineage that happens to have four cost. So this guy has swap four as well, two energies, but he's a barrier. So you're gonna be guaranteeing to be able to swap with this guy. Because uh, he's not dying anytime soon with skills. So we get a place out of that guy. Pretty sick. Uh, dependable Dynasty Son Goku. Another swap. Two energies. But he has swap three. So you're going to be able to switch with another three cost. So you can switch onto. Uh, you can swap onto this guy. Or you can swap onto the Gohan right here. So that's how it works guys. You see that? Use two energies to swap for a swap three and then you get to get this guy back to your hand and you got this guy in play and then that's how it just rolls along it's like a little chain reaction type of thing but how many of these do we get we only get two of those so those guys those guys must be pretty darn good for the swap then we get broken dynasty son goku one energy required for a swap two so that's pretty tight and uh, that's all he is he's just a uh, one energy for a swap two so he swaps onto another two cost this is another swap swap five so as you guys can see it's like a little chain reaction uh four cost has swap five usually a two cost has swap three and so on but um this guy's another barrier so guaranteeing for you to swap five next turn and he goes back to active mode so you can attack and he restands for consistent pressure and he's barrier so he's not leaving and then look at this one this one brings back uh dbz memories right there uh interpret uh, interpret Dynasty Sun Gohan. Uh, yet again, swap three for two energies. Barrier. So you're guaranteeing to swap for a three cost with this guy because he's not leaving the field. And uh, we get a place out of that. So that means he's a, a very good one. And then this guy protects your battle cards. Uh, you combo with it. He gives a pretty buff uh, power up for yellow battle cards. And on top of that, he also has a swap. So He's pretty darn good. We are getting four of those. And then Plucky Dynasty Pan. Interesting. Uh, this is a super combo with swap in it. So let's let's read this card. See if this card's actually good or not. So when you combo with this card, if your leader card is yellow, Goku's lineage, and your life is at four or less, draw one card and this guy this guy gains 10k boost power. So it's like a regular super combo, it looks like it just has swap five so it's it's pretty good pretty good and then we got chi chi in here she's a one-term play search the top three for a goku's lineage pretty cool card we actually get chi chi into the mix of the card game for you chi chi fans out there i don't know how many there are but there you go and we got grandpa gohan yep this card is what starts the swap engine for you uh uh, players out there if you want to pimp this deck out all you got to do is just get that one drop Bardock throw them in here and this and get some of those SR yellow cards or rare yellow cards from the Colossal Warfare packs and this deck is a solid winner guys. I guarantee it. So go pick it up uh, You get four of these one energy you swap two, no energy required and uh, he's also a blocker, so that's pretty darn good. And uh, we got our extra cards. We got 10 times Kamehameha. One of the best cards because when you attack with your leader, when you attack with your leader right here, you use 10 times Kamehameha. He gains 10k boost, double, I mean 15k boost, 15k boost, double strike. So he is a 30,000 double strike to your opponent's base. See if your opponent can block that one. And uh, to activate during the battle, so you can surprise your opponent with this one. That's pretty cool. We got two of this, and we get instant transmission. And uh, we're gonna be getting one, two, three. Look, we're getting four of these, and this is a really good one too, because of the fact that you negate and you can pick up one of your lives, helps you self-awaken. So that's this deck profile. That's the cards that come in it. Obviously, you get your, uh, your rule manual and your cool play mat but yeah hit a like on this video if you guys like this type of video and also subscribe for more super videos and of course i'm gonna be going against the other starter deck that tony g is gonna be battling with and it's gonna be epic so you guys don't want to miss that so make sure you guys are always uh alert and click that little bell so you guys could see it when we 
just release it. And like we always say, y'all stay super.